we have uh, made some minor updates um, over the years as uh, these requirements have changed. Um, our, our division, uh, True Compliance, continues to be very active working with manufacturers across the spectrum that produce equipment for critical um, essential facilities that needs to be operational during a seismic event. And I'd be happy to um, answer any additional questions you have. Um, I'll provide my contact information at the end of this presentation. So to get us started, I uh, just wanted to give a little bit of background about our, our company. Structural Integrity Associates <clears throat> is very well known in the nuclear industry. We basically are working on preventing uh, structural and mechanical failures. Um, they may be due to normal uh, operation or they may be due to um, seismic wind uh, flood uh, type events. Um, True Compliance is the division that I have responsibility over. It's the Product Certification Agency Division of Structural Integrity. We do seismic wind and um, blast or physical security product certification. Um, we've tested, um, at this point, over a thousand um, products on uh, shake table tests. And um, through those tests have certified over 25,000 products. And for those of you who are familiar with the Oshpod jurisdiction in California, um, they have a program called the Oshpod Seismic Pre-Approval, or the OSP. Um, we've been um, in responsible with obtaining over 120 of those. Um, also, we operate a shake table lab with our partners in Minneapolis that we um, call Seismic Test Co. Um, we have an ISO 1725 uh, accredited um, laboratory. It's basically a 10 foot by 10 foot triaxial shake table. Um, again, in Minnesota, we can generally accept up to 10,000 pounds of, of payload uh, for that. My experience, I'm a licensed um, professional engineer and structural engineer <clears throat> in California. Um, also, I'm licensed in Oregon, Illinois, and Florida. Um, I've worked on numerous um, U.S. embassies, um, many of which are in high seismic regions and have uh, critical um, uh, need to continue operation. Also, military facilities requiring uh, continued operation. Um, I went to Penn State University for my master's and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo for my undergrad. I serve on <clears throat> the code writing committee, ASCE 722, uh, which um, is, is in full swing. We meet three times a year and uh, in person and more over the phone. I'm on the task committee um, eight uh, for non-structural components, which writes chapter 13 of the ASCE 7 code. And I also serve on the ASCE Blast Shock and Impact Committee. In addition, we also have uh, members of our team who are active in ASCE 4 and 43, which is a focus on nuclear facilities, uh, that uh, and structural aspects of nuclear facilities. Um, we uh, are the Shake Table Test Standard AC 156. We're active in public comment and um, change proposals. And we also have a team member who's involved in the IEEE 693 uh, committee for uh, seismic testing for electrical substation components. So why do we care about seismic and non-structural? Um, a lot of our emphasis <clears throat> as structural engineers is on uh, structural engineering, the structure of a building. But why do we care about the non-structural? Well, doesn't non-structural mean not structural? Although that these components are not typically covered in school, in, in structural engineering curriculum, um, and they're outside of the scope of the main structural contract, except for maybe uh, some anchorage, um, they have a big impact on, on a facility. So <clears throat> when we look at uh, the history of um, how non-structural components have performed in previous seismic events, it's riddled with failures of many kinds um, for moderate and large earthquakes. Uh, many times um, we see some uh, international earthquakes that cause some um, 
products to fail, come off their mounting. Um, that may be due to the pr deficiency of the product itself, or it may be due to the deficiency in the way it was anchored. Um, there are uh, often broken fire sprinkler lines that have um, come across. Um, this one, the photo we show in Chile, um, but this also was some of the most major damage in the South Napa earthquake, which was a moderate earthquake that happened a few years ago in, in Northern California. Um, steel storage racks, uh, of course, um, substations, and, um, and uh, air conditioners, ceiling grids, uh, you name it, the, everything has basically fall, failed in an earthquake before.